fresh now. A couple of weeks when we do comfort food, this will all be forgotten. But um, the beginning of January, I'm always, always thinking about diet stuff. So let's do tuna salad, but let's change it up a little bit. So I've got some tuna here. So I've got some tuna. I've got two, two 12 ounce cans that I went ahead and packed in water that I drained. We've got some grapes, some almonds that I toasted. And I got the slivered almonds, so I'm not going to chop them. I like the size that they are. An eight ounce can of pineapple uh, chunks and um, some poppy seed dressing. Now I chose the, and we're going to put some celery in there. I chose the, this is uh, blackberry poppy seed. I thought, oh, that'll just give it a little bit of a, more of a fruit taste. And uh, just to kind of keep it fruity. This is also, you know, when we're talking about um, healthy, we're not using the mayonnaise based. The dressing is what it is kind of holding it together, but only using a quarter, of a quarter of a cup, so it's not you know, the heavy mayonnaise that you need into the salad, and it's not kind of plain. It's kind of hard to eat tuna out of a can, I think. Okay, so three quarters of a cup of celery. That's about two stalks. Again, this is a good lunch alternative. Take this for your lunch. Make everybody in the office jealous. Because <laughs> it does look like you've worked really hard on this, and really it's a it's a simple recipe. So we've got our celery, we're going to put our grapes in, and that's just three quarters of a cup of seedless red grapes that I halved. I did toast the almonds, and I just put them in the oven. What I usually do is if I'm baking something else, I will put them on a pan, flat, and put them in the oven and turn it on, and then usually when it comes up to 350, the, the almonds or the nuts are done. So then you don't have to, you know, if you have your oven at 350 already, just put them in for a few minutes just to kind of get them a golden, nice golden color. Okay, and our pineapple, I did drain this. It does, it does not say that in the recipe, but on the uh, tuna you do drain it. I'll put it in there with all that water. Oops. Like I said, I did get it in water. You do want to drain it. And then if you need to add salt and pepper to this, that's fine. Sometimes the tuna um, is salty enough. <laughs> gave it kind of a fun color, this blackberry poppy seed dressing. We've got crunch going on with the celery and the uh, almonds and the fruit taste with the two different kinds of fruit. Still keeping it good. And it comes out. It looks like that, but you can just put it on a plate with some um, a lettuce on a lettuce leaf. Or if you want, we've got um, I don't know if you've ever tried those thin buns. I think there's several companies that put them out, and those are very good. And I think this would be a really good thing to put on that. So there's our what is it called? Fruity tuna salad there. Very good. Okay.